morning good morning my babies good morning my babies good morning good morning good morning so today i am going to be giving you our morning reading i'm proud of myself this is the third day in a row i got you one split the deck in two You guys can choose one or two and i'm gonna give you some advice for our day ahead right, i'm gonna let y'all choose Give me some more cute gel clothes. More cute gel clothes, y'all. Right, once again, the pile. Let's see what our advice is today. Okay, pile number one. Have a good day. You have dips in this moon cycles. So the first thing I'm seeing is part of my, you the way you can okay and compassion. The way you can have a good day is to have compassion for yourself, have compa um have gentleness for yourself and have um be gentle on yourself. Like, don't work yourself too hard today. Don't feel like, oh, I need to be doing more in life. Like, try to um, try to give yourself a little bit more wiggle room. Try to give yourself a little bit more. I don't want to say um, because you know, a lot of times we feel like we're supposed to be somewhere in life that we aren't, or we see somebody else get there a little bit faster, and we're thinking like, okay, so maybe we didn't get there as fast because we're not doing what we need to do or we're not moving fast enough or whatever the case may have you. But sometimes with the moon cycles card, sometimes it's just not our time yet. 
right? Um, I think I was saying this yesterday. It made me feel like this every day when you wake up in the morning. Maybe you feel like whatever you're doing is pointless or maybe you feel like whatever you're doing isn't propelling you as fast as it should be. Maybe you're in school and you're like, yo, I've been in school forever. I keep failing classes and it's just not getting me nowhere. Or I keep going to this dead end job. I want to quit my job and my business isn't taking off yet. Or, um, or I should be doing like um, $40,000 a month or whatever. You can say I'm like, whatever. But understand that everything comes in cycle. You cannot skip cycles. So those people that you see making all that money or you see people living their dream life or at their goal weight or with the love of their life or whatever the fuck they have that you want, just know that shit didn't happen all at once. Just know at some point they were fucked up. Just know that at some point they they felt like um, they wasn't doing enough. Just at some point stuff wasn't working out. It is about consistency. Consistency, manifestation, and belief, okay? So you're going to have to go through the struggle where things are hard. You're going to have to go through the struggle where things are not working out. It just is what it is. Like, no one gets to skip it. So I don't know why you think that you do. But just because you're in that state doesn't mean you're going to be in that state forever. And it doesn't mean that you're not doing a good job. So have a little bit more compassion for yourself. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on to your life. Don't start getting um, pessimistic. Don't start getting negative. Don't start getting depressed and stuff like that. Try to understand like your time will come. And when it does, you know, you'll be ready for it. But that is your advice power number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. With that being said, I'm going to move on to my second pile. Let's see. Remember where you are. Spread your wings. You have patience and divine order. So what I'm seeing as far as advice for you, pile number two, some of these are very, very similar to yesterday's video. So I don't know if y'all watched yesterday's video. I'm going to name this something different, but it's going to be like, just look out for, look for the morning readings, um, advice from your angels. Um, but basically what I'm seeing here for you, pile number one is this, like, remember that I think that maybe you guys have something important to do today or a meeting or, or, or an interview or something like that. And you're feeling a little bit self-conscious, a little bit less confident than you usually are and stuff like that. Remember, but remember who you are. So even if you may be meeting with somebody you never met before or doing something you never did before or starting something new today, remember that you're, you've been a boss. You always going to be a boss. You've been about that life. You're always going to be about that life. So the same way you act with the things that you're familiar with, you need to act with, you need to act that way towards your new goals, towards your new journey. You get what I'm saying? You can't punk out right now. You cannot punk out right now. You've been that bitch. You've been that, you've been that boy. You've been that guy. You've been that girl. So act like it, right? They want you to spread your wings. Stuff is going to change. You're never supposed to get comfortable. So maybe something around you is changing. Maybe you're a level up. Maybe you got a new position at work, or maybe you have, you're getting a new manager come in or something something happen with your business so you have to change um direction or whatever it is just know that things are not supposed for, are not supposed to be comfortable and that sometimes it's okay to expand it's okay to move on and you got to be okay with that you have to be constantly moving if you're not moving you're dying right the same way you grew your garden that you have now, the same way you obtain the things that you have now, you're obtained more. So as long as you're watering your garden, which means adding knowledge to yourself, adding a, constantly healing, constantly um, looking for ways to be a better human being, a better mother, a better person to part. Sorry the video had cut off, y'all. I'm going to try to see if I can paste it together, but if not... You feel me? But anyway, um, this is part two. But yeah, so just water your garden. Water water your garden. Um, continue to do things that you've been doing. Like just know that the same way you grew the crops that you have now, which is the abundance and everything you have in your life, you will grow more, right? But you have to keep consistently doing the same thing. You're never done. You're never done. I know you're tired, but you're never done, right? Just know that things are happening for you and not to you. So anything that's happening now, anything that's changing right now, it was meant for it to change. Like I said, some of you guys are going through a change today or going through a change this week. So it could be like with your finances. It could be with your love life. It could be with whatever, however it applies to you. Or you could just be going to changes lately and they thought you needed to hear this today. They want you to know that this change was divinely guided and that you can handle it, okay? But with that being said, that is your reading part number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. See you. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Have a nice day, y'all.